Hi all. Good evening. As Microsoft has launched its new version of Navigent, that is Navigent 2013, they also come up with a new object that is Query. So let's discuss what a Query is. A Query is used to fetch data from the SQL and to display it and the query can be used as a source to the chart which we use in the role data client so now today let's take an example that how we can build a query and uh, how that query can be used in a chart I'll open the developer environment for Microsoft Dynamics NAT 2013 let's go to the query the new object introduced and I'll say to create a new query now suppose I want a chart in my role center page where the chart should display the top 10 selling items with the sales value on my chart so for the sales value the sales value can be extracted for an item from the value entry and uh, I'll require the item description that can be taken from the item table so let's see what these options are for the type there are three options that we have in the type in the query that is data item column and the filter data item is the table that we have in Navigen column is the field inside the table and filters are the, also the field in the table but these filters we use to filter our data for the chart now for creating a query where the chart or the query should extract the value of top 10 selling items I'll use the table value entry I'll select the column item number I'll select the column sales amount as I require the total of uh, some sales amount I'll select the totals <clears throat> now to display item name or the description on the chart I'll select the data item item I link this data item to the value entry with item number reference to value entry table field item number so now the table relation data item relation says that the number of the item table is linked to the value entry table item number now I'll select a column in this which is description okay and uh, <clears throat> in chart I require some filtration on the posting date as an I don't want to see a the list of top 10 selling item throughout the company period of the execution say I'll require a filter for last 10 days or last 15 days so I'll add one more column on the above table that is posting date now I'll save this query as uh, top 10 selling items sorry I'll run this query <coughs> what I see is the output of the query which currently as you can see in the top previews the first top thousand rows which are of no use to me as of now <coughs> so I'll go and there is a property in the query <coughs> that how many rows you want top number of rows so I'll say 10 I'll execute the query again I see some items but they are there is no sales amount actuals coming in the query that is because it's uh, extracting the top 10 items by sales but in ascending order of the sum of sales amount actual I need to change the order so I'll go to the query 
properties i'll say order by i'll say sum of sales amount actual as descending i'll save the query i'll execute it again and i see only the first top 10 items top 10 selling items with the sum value in descending order now let's see how we can use the output of this query in a chart i'll open the role teller client i'll navigate to charts as you can see there are many standard charts created from microsoft i'll create a new chart it's asking for the id i'll say that it's a test it's asking for a name i'll say item by sales it's asking for the source type there are two options only either by the table or by the query so i'll select the query i'll enter my query id now as i told you earlier that i want a filtration of say last 10 days the posting that has been done in the value entry for last 10 days i just wanted only those values so i'll go and i'll select the filter posting date and till work date minus 10d that's a filter is applied now what i want on the chart is the sales amount actual i want the sum of it and the chart type should be column now here i need to select the caption where i'll say eng i'll say sales amount and on the y-axis that is a y-axis the caption would be sales amount now what i want in the x-axis is the item number or the description whatever you want the item number or the description i'll select say item number i'll save it so now i can see my chart here item by sales with the test id i'll go to the role center page i'll customize this page i'll add a chart part component i'll customize this part and i'll select the chart that i have created okay here we go so now we have a chart we can see a chart which displays me the item number and the sales amount for the top 10 item top 10 selling items with the value now suppose i say i want this chart to be for last seven days or anything whichever you want the values i'll change it to seven days I'll say OK, I'll go to the home page and I can see the references. The value has been reduced. So this is the way how we can use queries and how we can create queries and use those queries in the chart so that and these charts are these charts can be printed. These charts can be saved and anything you can preview it and you can print it anything. So that is the way how this can be done so next time i'll be back with something new till then thank you bye